We've been following the murder case of retired California Police Chief Andreas Probst since last August when the hit and run occurred. A grand jury indicted the two teen suspects in October, but now they face additional charges. Our Jay Wan Jung explains why those charges were added and what that means for the case. The two teens accused of intentionally running over a retired police chief were arraigned on additional charges Thursday morning. Charges one of the defense attorneys called, quote, unlawful. 18-year-old Jesus Ayala and 16-year-old Jameer Keys entered not guilty pleas for the second time in court Thursday, a superseding grand jury indictment adding additional charges for Ayala. But the superseding indictment came under fire when Ayala's public defender David Westbrook argued prosecutors violated state law by combining offenses unrelated to the original crimes. Just for the record, you know, we're objecting to this reinstatement. It's a clear violation of NRS 173.115. David Roger is the former Clark County District Attorney and says prosecutors can combine charges from a separate criminal incident if they can show they are somehow related. The law requires you to show some kind of connection between the different uh, cases in order to uh, join the case and uh, present the case to a jury. While prosecutors did not describe in court the circumstances surrounding the secondary indictment, a Metro arrest report from January identifies Ayala as the prime suspect in a vehicle theft and attempted murder in the North Valley last June. It's difficult to determine whether there's a sufficient connection between the attempted murder and attempted robbery a month and a half earlier and, and this crime spree. There may be. As for Keyes, no additional charges were added for him. He appeared in court with a heavily bandaged right arm that was not explained. Jameer is your person? The teens are facing several felony charges after a deadly crime spree in the Northwest last August. Police say the pair intentionally hit and killed 64-year-old retired police chief Andy Probst. Probst had been cycling in a designated bike lane. The teen murder suspects are scheduled for a trial readiness check on March 12th. At the Regional Justice Center, I'm Jaywan Jung.